One of the hallmarks of a sociological research paper is one that integrates sociological theory into the background and discussion of the research topic as it's introduced to the reader. What makes for really good sociological research is work that moves beyond simply just reporting observations about the social world, but offering explanations for observed patterns and relationships. Science that really only makes observations isn't really science. What makes for great scientific work, especially within sociology, is work that identifies broader themes and ideas that can be applied across contexts or social processes. What exactly is sociological theory? Sociological theory is a language for studying what people do when they come together in groups. Sociological theory gives us terminology for describing groups and groups' behavior, how people relate to one another. Sociological theory also provides a way to translate ideas and observations into a lingua franca or a common language. Now, when you think about social theory, you might think about some of the famous sociological theorists like Karl Marx, Max Weber, or Emile Durkheim. But I would like to think, I would like you to think about social theory slightly differently. Think about social mechanisms. Social mechanisms are maybe a pattern or a process that helps to explain a social phenomenon. In the book, Theory for the Working Sociologist, this is social mechanisms are offered as a way to think about social theory in everyday sociology. And this is how most sociologists think about their research. What social mechanisms allow you to do are to recognize regularities in empirical cases and commonalities in explanations. One of my favorite quotes from this book is that a social mechanism is more or less a general sequence or a set of social events or processes that are analyzed at a lower level of complexity or aggregation by which in certain circumstances cause, some cause X tends to bring about some effect why in the realm of human social relations. So it's thinking about the cause and effects and the social processes that bring about that change. You can think about social mechanisms in four broad categories within sociological theory in terms of power and inequality, strategic action, values and social structures, or social construction. One of these first social mechanisms, power and inequality, recognizes that many social and racial hierarchies characterize American life. Social inequality is visible to us through differences in opportunities for financing and schooling, jobs and housing. And sociological theories of social inequality emphasize that social processes produce these differences in power and resources between social groups. Social inequality, theories of social inequality also emphasize how in, intergroup conflict, competition, and repression produce inequalities by race, class, and gender. One theory that draws on these ideas is that of fundamental causes, one of the leading theories within medical sociology. Fundamental cause theory states that socioeconomic status is a fundamental cause of sickness and mortality because it influences multiple diseases, affects disease through multiple pathways of risk. Socioeconomic status is linked to disease and mortality, not just in the current period, but across historical contexts. And socioeconomic status influences health because it involves access to resources that can be used to avoid disease and or minimize its consequences once it occurs. Strategic action is another social mechanism in sociological theory. Strategic action focuses on individual decisions and our evaluation of the perceived costs and benefits of those decisions. Strategic action recognizes that people will choose actions that lead to positive benefits 
People will choose actions to avoid negative consequences. People will also incorporate others' ideas and preferences into their own decisions. Now, sociology goes beyond just simple rational choice theory by incorporating a group context. The values and social structure mechanism emphasizes the links and interplays between our ideas, beliefs, and social structure. Beliefs and attitudes, or values, are aligned with social roles and behaviors or the structures. So this is the links between our beliefs and attitudes and social roles and behaviors. How do social structures shape our beliefs and attitudes? Culture is a flexible resource that's used to guide our social behavior. And how we act within the social world is shaped by our communal shared beliefs. And these are some of the propositions of the social mechanism of values and social structure. One example of a sociological theory that falls within this framework is cultural health capital, developed by Janet Shim. Shim recognized that the U.S. healthcare system is plagued by inequities in quality, satisfaction, and service. Shim argued that socially transmitted and differentially distributed skills and resources are critical to the ability to effectively engage and communicate with healthcare providers. Shim argued that people might possess certain forms of cultural health capital which favor them in clinical interactions. The types of cultural health capital that might lead to better interactions with clinicians include knowledge of medical topics and vocabulary knowledge of what information is relevant to healthcare personnel, the skills to communicate health-related information to providers in an intelligible and efficient manner, an enterprising disposition and proactive stance towards health, a sense of mastery and self-efficacy, the ability to take an instrumental attitude towards one body, belief in the value of and the resources to practice self-discipline. An orientation towards the future and its control through calculation and action. A sensitivity to interpersonal dynamics and the ability to adapt one's interactional styles. And an ability to communicate social privilege and resources as cues of favorable status and savvy. So cultural health capital is an example of this values and social structure framework or social mechanism. Lastly, social construction is also a relevant mechanism, social mechanism within sociological theory that's used in a lot of research. Social construction recognizes that people come together to create shared understandings. These social situations are moments when people come together in a shared awareness. And our interactions within social situations are a series of shared performances based on this understanding. And social movements and social change depend on people who frame issues in the same way, this shared understanding. Social construction was relevant uh, to my research when I examined representations of addiction in coverage of the uh, quote unquote opiate epidemic. Framing is relevant to this topic because frames and news coverage serve to organize our experiences, render certain events meaningful, and guide collective actions. And reactions by news audiences who are coming across coverage of the opiate epidemic on social media platforms can work to shape a collective definition of opiate addiction as a social problem. So I want you to think about these social mechanisms and try to develop a theory for your project. Which of these is relevant to your research project? And one exercise that you might take to develop the theory for your project is think about that social mechanism and sketch out some of your ideas. These could be text or drawing. What are some of the social processes that are operating to influence people's behaviors and actions? Think about what some of your ideas are regarding the social mechanism that underlies your topic and your research question. What are some of the social processes that drive people's behavior and action? Use this exercise to take your laptop 
and search Google Scholar for literature that might help you unpack the ideas that you wrote down above. What did you find? Can you identify a theoretical approach to couch your project within the field of sociology?